Hi there, welcome back to the channel. Now, in this particular video, I would like to show you how you can query your S3 table buckets with Snowflake. Amazon S3 table buckets can be queried by various query engine, including Trino, DuckDB, Snowflake, and many more. So let's take a look at how you can now query your uh, S3 table buckets with Snowflake. All right, so the first step is we need an Amazon S3 table buckets, and here um, I am on my AWS management console. Let me zoom out a little bit. You can click on the orange button and give it a name that you like. I already have a table bucket, so I'm skipping that particular process. And I ha I'm assuming you have some data in it. I already have a data called customer inside a namespace called my blog namespace. You can create using, uh, again, Pi Iceberg, uh, Pi Iceberg library, or you can create using Athena, however you like. I do have some mock data to play with. So now I'm gonna show you the next particular process, right? All right, so first we'll head over to Snowflake, okay? And I'm gonna create a database called RestCatalogDB. I will use that particular database, as you can see, okay? Now, after that, I will create a catalog integration in Snowflake. I will call it Glue REST Catalog Integration. Catalog source is gonna be Iceberg. REST cat, uh, table format is gonna be Iceberg. Catalog namespace is gonna be the, the namespace that you have over here. It's my blog namespace for this one, so I'm just gonna use that. URI, usually this is HTTPS uh, colon slash slash glue dot, uh, the region, I'm using a US East 2, so again, my region is gonna be US East 2. If you're using a different region, uh, swap that particular here. And then of course the endpoint, right? Uh, now here, warehouse, how, how to form this? So the first part is your AWS account ID. The second part is your catalog name, right? S3 table bucket is a catalog name. And the third part is basically uh, your table bu buckets name, this one, by iceberg block bucket. And then here I'm using an IAM role, right? Uh, to, uh, you know, authenticate, right? And this is the region, US is two. And I'm gonna now, Copy this, execute that. So here you can see the integration was successful, right? Now what I will do is I will execute this particular command. And from here, I will copy API underscore AWS underscore IAM underscore user underscore on. And then I'm gonna copy API underscore AWS underscore external underscore ID. So now I'll, I'll basically head over to my, um, uh, AWS Management Console, I'll go to the role that I used, I'll go to the trust relationship, I'm gonna click on edit, and now, okay, watch. So this part over here, I'll copy it in this section over here, so let's replace that, and then this part over here, the external ID, I'll copy it over here, over here. Okay, that's done, click on update policy, boom, done, right, okay, cool. Okay, so now basically what we will do is we'll verify that. So uh, there is a command that you can fire, which is uh, select system dollar verify underscore catalog underscore integration and your catalog name. So let's fire that one over here. It says true. If you see any errors, probably meaning that means you have some permissions uh, you need to fix, okay? So that's done. And now I should be able to create my table over here. So I'm gonna say now create iceberg table, S3 table bucket underscore customer. This is just the name that I'm giving. This is the catalog integration, auto refresh to true, and this is the table name. Uh, let's execute that. Uh, now it's done. Now let's uh, query this table, select everything from S3 table buckets catalog. And there you can see that particular data over here. So yeah, it's uh, literally that easy. Uh, you can query your Amazon S3 table buckets with Snowflake. You can query your Amazon S3 table, bu table buckets with DuckDB, with Trino, with Athena, with Spark, with uh, Pi Iceberg, I believe, and a uh, lot more engine supports are coming up, right, uh, as I speak. So yeah, I hope you have enjoyed the video. Uh, with that being said, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below, and I'll be more than happy to uh, answer those questions. With that, keep smiling, keep programming, and I'll see you in the upcoming next video.